Um, unlike your usual sort of mountain bike races that are, that are just the one day, you've got four days to back up. So I think um, you need to be prepared for that. While, while the days aren't massive, like, you know, the severity of the Cape Epic or something like that, maybe the Pioneer, you know, it's a bit shorter and the days are a bit more achievable, but they still are challenging. And I think you need to go there ready to take on the challenging stages because there's some big climbs, there's some technical terrain. Yeah, you gotta be ready for all that. In your preparation, you gotta be mindful that you're gonna be going for four days. So maybe try and link some long weekends together. You might do your Saturday, Sunday, Monday riding and, and try and link that up because that'll simulate what you have to prepare for when you get around to race day and race race week. You have to have the, the right equipment as well. I think you need to make sure your gearing is ready for what might be thrown up. There is some steep pinches out on the port to fort course. There's probably one steep pinch each day that you have to have enough gears for to get up. Just practice with what you've got and if you're finding you're running out of gears on the steep climbs, then I think that's where you'd, you'd sort of go something to a bit easier because you'd better off having enough gears than um, on the climbs to get up than you know spinning out on the descents with the one by chain ring setups most of us have now so yeah it's something to be mindful of for sure I mean we've seen all sorts of weather at Port to Port you know this time of year here can be really nice like um, weather we've had you know recently and, and actually the last few events I think at Port to Port have been super weather you know we've been yeah, grateful for that but certainly you can have some treacherous days and I suppose things like tyres um, that sort of stuff you've got to make sure you've got fresh tyres and I think for the week is a safe bet and it also can be super blown out and dry and dusty you know things like chain lube all that sort of stuff and if you can keep on top of it each day you know get your bike cleaned up after the stage depending on the conditions you know you might it might be a pretty heavy washing job needed find a car wash or whatever and get it done because you know that's going to help you for the the following days I think you know you don't want mechanicals etc out on course because it just wrecks the week and you know that's something I've been pretty lucky with you know in a lot of these events and not really having any issues and I think it, it does come from good preparation and throughout the race at Port to Port if you have any mechanical issues you know there's there's usually technical support mechanical support at the event and I think finish your stage if you've had an issue out on course get it sorted and sometimes you might think oh you know you're a bit buggered you you do it later or and you don't get around to it but it can totally wreck your next day or, and, and the rest of the week so I think yeah get get it done if you have any, any troubles and, and see the mechanics on site and get it sorted and it's worth worth getting on top of it before the following day.